weird that the time of year where everything is dead, zombies and skeletons, is the time that most of us feel the most alive? Yeah. Halloween can't come soon enough. Keep your swimming pools, I only want it if it's full of corpses. Keep your beach balls, I want eyeballs. Yeah. Keep your bright sun, I'll take a red moon over a whole street of fog any day. Things to do tonight, including there's a uh, creative uh, show in Birdcage Theater. One of the mazes, the Shilling Chambers, is open with the lights on tour. You can see all the stuff you missed as you were running and screaming. Uh, there's makeup just demonstrations and costumes and all kinds of stuff. The food, the legacy, there's so much to do tonight that we're going to try to pack it all in as fast as we can. All right. Not two, not five, 13 different shirts for, for you this year. I will model one. So we got one. We got the event shirt. We got this one. We got that one. We got the back of this one. Oh, exclamation point. We got two exclamation points. Oh, look at the back of this shirt. Um, we did tons of graphics this year. All the scare zones, all the mazes. Green Witch, of course. And of course, our skull. I don't know what that shirt is. Oh, that's the main thing. And of course, we did a eyeball. There's three hidden eyeballs here at Not Scary Farm in one of the mazes, or in three of the mazes. So we did an eyeball pin. We did an eyeball. This we're big into eyeballs this year. So this year, the, the main event shirt is all tarot cards, and the coins are all the scare zones. So we did that featuring the Green Witch. We have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. She's going to be here three times, the 19th of September, the 20th of October, and the 18th of October. I said that backwards. We have 13 new shirts. We made her a, her own hot sauce. This was part of the contract. It wasn't hot enough. We kept making it hotter. This hot sauce will take paint off your car. It's so hot. But she loves it, and she drinks it with a straw. Don't ask me why. Spirit jersey. We have the spirit jersey for this year and of course we have the knots lounge fly bag with all the accoutrement of course we have you know the the zipper pull and the exclusive interior so we have another lounge fly this year so that's everything and then in the store I have a full selection every single item that Elvira has always had in the, uh, the legacy store so we have everything that you need you're going to have fun this year in our stores. It's going to be a great Scary Farm year. Can't wait to see it. What would a night of Scary Farm be but a, a spectacular array of gourmet food offerings? The creepy culinary crew here on Not Scary Farm has been brewing up a bounty of boo-ferific dishes to please even the most pinicky, uh, pesky poltergeist, right? All right. This year, our food and beverage team has concocted a whole lineup of seasonal treats. Hi, my name is Andre. I'm the executive chef over here at Knott's Berry Farm. And what we can expect this year is some amazing, amazing, as usual, always over the top, great flavors, spectacular, spooktacular things that we're going to do here this year. Uh, so we're going to start off, we did the creme brulee cookie, a little burnt sugar on the top. We did this really, really fun idea here. So we did an orange soda. It's got a little uh, candy corn whip up on top, served on top. So when, you get, when you're dipping it in or you want to flip it upside down, you're getting all the, the flush of the orange with the candy corn. That's a lot of fun. This oversized of the top, amazing cake right here. Then you got the carrot cake, you got the carrot cake bar, you got the red velvet brown, uh, the, yeah, the red velvet brownie here. A bunch of different uh, cupcakes for the kids, something nice, fun, um, it makes a mess all over their face. Their face get, you know, from the different dyes and stuff like that, so they get a lot of fun with that. This is hands down my favorite item the whole season. Even including all the, the other savory items which we will discuss, this is hands down my favorite. This is the peanut butter crunch funnel cake. So it's a funnel cake layered with peanut butter up on top. Then you go your, uh, then we have crumbled uh, pretzels, so you got the salty 
thickness of the pretzel. You got some butternut, uh, you got some butter uh, butterscotch chips on here. Then we did topped it all off with Reese's peanut butter pieces. And then you got your whipped cream and your ice cream. This hands down just really caught me off guard. Great flavor. You got the saltiness. You got the, the you got the peanut butter flavor. Yeah, really, really hands down my favorite item. This whole out of everything. We have the rice krispies and we have the cookie witches and we have the churros and the brownies for the kids and you know uh, the whoopie pies. A lot of opportunities, a lot of fun things for the kids to try. Adults to have fun with. Uh, late night snack, that little sugar rush that you're looking for. We have some great sandwiches, hoagies. My, one of my favorite here also is going to be the meatball. The meat, the chicken meatball with a Alfredo cheese sauce really caught me as well as a surprise. Because a lot of times when you have a chicken meatball, it can be a little dry. This great, moist, succulent, really, really great flavors coming out of this. Another personal favorite of mine is going to be the risotto. It's a Parmesan risotto, butternut squash, a little bit of uh, the, the chicken on top. So you got the butter, you got the Parmesan, you got the chicken stock, you got the butternut squash. I, I'm really, really happy about this one here. Lug bags are very popular. We do have two versions of a lug bag. We have the child or the, the children uh, version during the day. Uh, so it's, you have that. And then we have the ones at night, a little bit more adult uh, centric. We have arrived, dear Deadites, to the double announcements that you have all been salivating for. There are two brand spanking new mazes for Scary Farm 2024, two. But first, with a little more information on what's going on, back behind Ghost Rider is my fiend, the town crier. Hey, hey. scenic designer. Uh, this year we've got two new mazes for Scary Farm and um, they're pretty fun, they're pretty wild. Uh, we do have a few shows as well, a new Elvira experience coming into Walmart Out Theater. But uh, this year I'm particularly excited about the maze Eight Fingers 9 because that's my baby. I was able to create that and um, I've created this new character specifically for Nods based on a grim fairy tale, on the grim fairy tales in that style. And I I am personally super excited to see how fans react to this creepy boogeyman monster um, that we're bringing forward this year. And that's, that's my baby I'm super pumped about. And I really wanted to create an iconic character, do a maze where it's really about this one singular force that can't be stopped. Um, so while I was toying around the, with the idea, um, I had the idea of this monster that, whose bite causes sleep paralysis. And if no one saves you, he just keeps going and going, right? He just eats you. I wanted to create something that felt like you were walking through a classic story, but very much like dark rides where you go through these fantasy lands. I want to create the darkest, dingiest version of that. And the work we've done inside from our, all of our production crews is just beautiful. So you're going to go and you'll see fully realized sets against great murals. Um, and it, the monster, you'll see, not only will you see how he's affecting this town, at the beginning of the maze you see how he's born. And then you see, as these mazes usually do, you follow the monster into his lair to try to combat him. And it doesn't go very well. My name is Daniel Miller. I'm uh, one of the creative designers at Not Scary Farm. Uh, this year, I designed a maze called Widows, which is very aptly named. It's a bit of two mashed up things, and that's the origins of what we came up with. So I say we because I worked with uh, this girl and I, her name is Gloria Hara. She actually plays the bride out on the Ghost Town streets. We asked each other what made us most scared. And uh, for her, it was convalescent homes, or uh, just uh, elderly care and hospitals, uh, just that uh, facing uh, all of us have to face the death. Um, and then for me, 
I all that week I've been walking my dog, and for some reason, I was walking through spider webs, constantly walking through spider webs. It was bloody disgusting. So I, I said, wait a second, this, these two fears are so great, and people who usually don't get scared, this would be great as a maze concept. So I decided to fuse them together and make Widows, which is, um, I know you guys are uh, fans of this maze that we used to call uh, Voodoo, and I figured one of the characters could uh, be sort of part of this, where she summons uh, Arachne, goddess of spiders, to come through a portal and to have all of her sisters take over the, the convalescent home. So they wriggle into the bodies of uh, these grandmothers. So there's no real grandmothers, it's all, uh, it's all spiders in the bodies of grandmothers. So they all have taken over this hospital and um, all hell breaks loose. We just deep dove into the history. We sat down with anybody and everybody who would talk to us about the Great Witch, who she was, who she's been, her story, how it all has connected throughout the years, and then we were like, fantastic, we have a grasp on it, now we're going to give her choreography, and she's going to be fabulous. Um, and it was just so fun to get to take one of those long time stories, one of those characters that has just withstood the test of time, and bring her back in a stage um, depiction alongside also getting to have her in moments out on the street, um, which John, I know that was your...